and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Grandia. I'm your host, Nick Legato. So, now that we're ready to go, let's get to it. So here's where we want to go. We want to head off this way. We're introduced to a new enemy. Though it's a reminiscent enemy of something we've already fought before. But this time, we are axe-free. Again, all tree enemies are usually weak against fire and axe. But yet we lack both of those at the moment. We lack the axe, so may as well use the fire. Specifically, we want to get See my power. Justin and Fina's fire level up. Specifically, Justin really is the one that needs it the most. Since the uh, other skill isn't really going to do us mu too much anyway. You can see I'm... Old flame burner. Yeah, exactly. You can see I'm trying to spread out the fire damage for as best as I can here. And thus the battle is won! <laughs> Pretty easy. So as you can see, just using level 1 fire will get you through most of the zone when you have to deal with those enemies. And as stated before, we do need some fire um, to towards us. So this is going to be just a small boost um, until we get more MP that will suffice the use of stronger fire skills. I mean, we have, well, we have enough in, for Justin Infinity to use Burn Flame, but Burn Flame is costly. I don't know. I really don't know. We'll have to look at the moves. Let's see what we got here. It needs to get to level 8. It's at level 6 now, so we may as well just start going all out for fire. But our goal here is to get Earth up to 7 at some point as well. And with you, it's Earth up to 5. So we should really be... But again, like I said, we should only focus on fire as we kind of need it. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and head around this way. Which will lead us to our first treasure. Which is a weak weed. Um, it's a weakness um, weed. It's not like pot for beginners, you know. Take a look at our map here. So you can see we have a couple of ways to go when we get to the end of this area. Um, but if we keep going this one way here, we should find some money. I think. Or not. No money. Interesting. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, we still gotta go this way anyway. So let's keep going. And this is a different enemy than what we fought before. Actually, I think the last enemy we have fought before. This should be the new version of it, Misguard. Okay. Whatever. As stated before, we still want to get our fire level up, so... We're gonna use Burn Flame on these guys, because they have significantly more MP. Let's go ahead and use Earth. I'm in way, shape, or form here. Because they may not survive this attack, so... You should. You should do about 100 plus. As you can see, it's 100 plus. What a cinch. Giggity. Now let's see what we get experience-wise for that kill. 21. Okay, that's more tolerable. I can at least do it twice and get around 50, uh, you know, between save points. And if I need to, I can go back and reuse that save point. That's only if I have to. There's the goal. And I believe going this way will bring us back here. We haven't taken any damage, so there's no point in using our little healing trick. Um, so now that we've done that... Let's see... Uh, we want to pretty much go the way we did again. But this time, when we get there... We're gonna wanna... Uh oh. We got, we got blindsided. Great. I don't think Earth really works well against these enemies, so I'm not gonna bother. As we get hit with the cloud attack, this causes something. Confusion, great. The one thing you don't want to get hit by, confusion. Uh, and that's gonna block Sue's moves. So we're, as you can see, we're also starting to get exposed to more dangerous attacks here, but so let's go ahead and get rid of these clowns before they cause us more trouble than they're worth. I don't think Sue can kill that by herself, but it is a th it is thrown, so there you go. And as you see, we were able to survive. You know that I, I will survive. I'm gonna kick your asshole left and right until I stay alive. <laughs> So it wasn't that bad. But yeah, definitely don't get surprised by those guys. Um, let's go ahead and use Justin's... I hate to use this, but... 
Well, he's at 86. Let's just use level 1. The real problem is actually that thing is helping Sue out a bit. There, that raises water level. I don't think I actually have anything to cure that. Yeah, that just cures poison. So, we could go back to the save point, but I don't think that'll work either. Let me try it real quick. I hate when I get those things happening to me, and those things freaking happen to me. Let's see, did that fix it? Yeah, that cleared it up. So that's going to be the only way we clear that up, because we don't have a move saving um, thingamajig here. So, do 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 do. Let's go ahead and head this way, back the way we came. Wait a minute, that's a dead end. What am I doing? Durr. So, we're going to go this way now. Should lead us to a new direction. That's the one problem with forests, is it's hard to see where you're going. Okay, got a cool spell called Wow, which is like a an offense up skill, which is really nice to pick up. But we have two ways to go. Obviously, we're going to go the... Well, no, we don't. Never mind. I take that back. We have two ways to go. Wrong. We find a big battle here. This is going to be a great battle for Justin to use a fire spell. Oh, just because he'll hit so many targets with it. Same with uh, Fina. So we're going to let Fina use... I don't think she needs to use Earth Magic, and they're not going to really... Wind's not going to really do anything to him. So let's go ahead. Well, we could try Hal. I don't think Hal will do much to him, though. Specifically, we want to make sure we use Justin's Fire Magic. There's so many of them. The Earth would be better, though, wouldn't it? Let's use Earth. See what Hal does. I don't think it... I think they were a uh, pro Hal pro wind spell, but we'll find out for sure. If it does any damage. Oh wow, actually it did a lot more than I thought. Too bad it's gonna be a waste of MP for just See my power! Great. Damn you, Pavlov! Oh well. Shoot. Eh, whatever. I didn't think Earth Wind would really do much, but I guess I was wrong. What a finch. Oh, at least we know. Not to waste our time with that so much. Um, and that's a big 48. Son of a bitch, that would have been perfect for Justin's fire magic. <sighs> Can't take me anywhere, guys. Can't take me anywhere. There's another big one over there, too, so what I probably will want to do is it's stupid to do it. Somebody's going to say, I can't believe you do that. Uh, 30 SP. How much of this shit do we actually have is really the question. What do you have? You have a blue pill, too. Three blue pills, huh? That's a lot of blue pills. It's just a shame I don't have other means to do it. And what he needs it in fire and in earth. So how much MP does he have? He has enough. Oh, he has enough for one more spell. So if anything, we're gonna use it on earth. I don't know. Well, we can always use digging. I mean, that's a guaranteed option there. I'm gonna leave this one on this time just to see how it goes down here. But you use digging. Please protect Actually, I'm just going to use fire to get fires at least up one level on its own. The uh, burn flame. Okay, it's done. It's out of the way. I have to deal with it. Because I only got to get it up one more level, so I may as well throw my fire at it now. But my better judgment is trying to take hold and control the situation, so we went with Tremor anyway. Figures. Feel the Earth's fury! Did it have Mexican food? I'm still gonna- no, I got them all. I think I got them all. Looks like I missed one. Then again, it looks like I am getting them all. Eh, whatever. It looks like I got them all. Oh yeah, that's the one that did almost nothing to them. But I leveled up from it, which is always good. And none of them had special going, so that's good. As you can see, I'm just really digging into that earth spell usage here. Please protect us! With beer! Protect us with something. Yeah, we should be level. She should be leveling these both. Two of these both of these clowns should be leveling up earth and fire and anything they can. So let's throw out a fire spell in the middle of that chaos there, because they're all just kind of hanging out. We'll be able to hit all of them except one, yeah. And that killed all of them except one, where we get hit by a howl spell. 
not a big concern. Except the fact that Sue's almost dead. That might be a small concern. Um, the smart thing to do would just be to end this fight, so let's go ahead and do that. Since Sue's practically dead. There we go. Not bad, eh? Okay, sweet. Yep, and file of fire and earth went up from using the certain skill, so that's really, really good. Sweet! So we'll try and plan it that way instead, per se. Let's go ahead and heal Sue before bad things happen. Um, oh yeah, that's right, she's gonna use- she has other means to level up water, Justin does not, so... She has her other magics to level up water. Let's go with an- oh, I can't, so that's why I do not We go. Yeah, I'm not getting much for that level one heal, but still better than fucking nothing. Okay, we go. What do we got here? Any goodies. Bow fruit. Um, restores 10 SP to one friend. Yeah, it's worth keeping. It's a piece of crap most of the time, but it is good when you're in a jam. Just gonna see where we are. Okay, so we just kind of did a loop de loop there. Do, 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 do. So we got the boa, the boa fruit, or bobab fruit, or whatever the hell it's called. Do, do, do. There's not much left, really. I think we've collected everything except for like one pouch of gold somewhere along the way. Not that we care, it's just gold, but still. And that goes back that way, so now it's time to start heading this way. That's why those, thank god for those eagle eyes. Oh, where'd they go? There they are. You're mine! Bye! Bye! Okay, killed that jerk jack jackhole. Okay, now we can pretty much head our way out of here. So, tra la 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 Probably another battle or two, too, on our way out, I'm sure. It's never that easy. There's the river. And there's the battle. Between something. And we're walking. To this, which leads various directions. Various different directions. See any reason to head over here? I think we came by this way before. I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, just to make sure. Because, like I said, you should try to fight as many enemies in an area as you can, especially if, they are, if there are droves of them. Um, but as you see, there's no enemies really over here. So we must have come this way at some point. Let's head back across the river. passed it, didn't I? And I should have gone... Well, I was going the right way. Like I said, you can turn around in these some of these dungeons, so you have to be careful. There's the river. And head over that way, and we make our way to the east when we get a chance, it looks like. Hmm. There it is. There it is. Ah, I see you! Alright, kill those bastards. Let's keep moving here. You see more river, but not no need to try and cross it. There's no way to way to cross it. Did we get another battle? Alright, kill that tent. Level weak ass enemy. Really what that was. Alright, so here we are at Luke Village, or Luck Village, Luke Luch Village, whatever. So we get all the details about all that, all that jazz. Let's go ahead and make sure everybody's healed full. Actually, everybody is healed full, so never mind. One of the things we're gonna want to do right away, as any time we come to a new village, we need to find the supermarket. It's a market. Because there, like many towns, there is always an item shop. And this one is no exception to that rule. We just gotta find it. There it is. I don't think we have any magic eggs so but we'll check anyway yeah no mana eggs for as usual looking at weapons best way to go is obviously well the aura staff is plus 22 plus 20 but I, it's really up to you what you want to get best deal though with this sucker is out of battle or used as an item it cures confusion so that's a good buy uh. 
And um, we need to work on Justin's... Um, we need to work on his staff one level, and we need to work on something else one level too. Um, his axe like two levels, so and there's a new axe available to us. So, in other words, we need to make room. We don't need antidotes anymore. We have a way of healing that. Um, I'm not gonna use the officer's badge. The holy mace can take a hike. Um, that's cool, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Minus two to attack. Eh, forget that. They get used so haphazardly. It's you know, it's like. Oh, the only time you use it is when you have a use for it, when you go, oh yeah, I guess I can use this now. We're selling off all this crap, and now we should have some decent space. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We could probably start selling our wound solves, because 40 HP is a joke at this point. You know, so I'm going to take those out as well. We're going to leave the beef jerky, as that is 60. Miracle, Crimson... And we'll keep the Gensing, well, we don't really even need that, but, well, it's hard to say. I mean, I don't see myself using some of this stuff. There's one wound solve, a first aid, we'll keep the first aid one. That's 60 to the entire party. Okay, now we've got optimum room. What we'll probably do is I'll buy the Aura Staff, and we'll put it on Justin for right now. But I'm keeping the Saber. Because as soon as we finish getting some of this his crap up a level, I just want it out of the way. So we've got he's got three weapons in his inventory. We're obviously gonna trade this bow for Sue's army dart, because we're not using it much anymore. And unfortunately, though there is a, an upgrade for her, Fina's whip, it's the fucking knife, and I'm not using it. So we we've come to this we've had this discussion, we're not using the freaking knife. The fairy robe, plus two to anti-confusion and sleep, that's always a good thing, but what's the difference? Eh, we got the money to waste on it, so we probably will. Warps when damaged. I would as cool as warp is, I wouldn't use it for that reason. You only get warp warps when damaged. So when you have when you're not at full health you can warp, but anytime other than that, you know. There's actually something called the Warp Shoes, which are the shoes you really want to get. There we go, we're all pimped out there. This is going to be better across the board for these two for you. And how is this fair? Eh, we're only upgrading it by about one. But like I said, money is not much of an issue to us at this point in the game. We're doing pretty good on our money. Now there's one other thing here. And it is... Reduces SP used by killer moves. These guys are pretty cool. Um, there is no reason not to get maybe three of these. Um, and somebody might ask why. Actually, we should get four of these. We should get one more. The reason why these are good, and I believe that's what this is. Uh... Because there's obviously room for one more character, as you can see just by looking at the damn thing. This is a great item. What it does is it reduces SP usage by 20%. Great for bosses and whatnot. We're going to buy one of each of these, because you never know when you need them. That will fix those move and move and magic blocks. Shouldn't happen too often, so you should be okay. But if it does, you know, we'll put a tree god amulet here. We'll put one on Sue, because that's all she has, in all honesty. And you get a plus two an attack with this. But we're not really using her um, physical combat skills yet, uh, frequently enough to warrant having to do that. So I'm going to hold... I'm reluctant to give it to her. She needs as much offensive attacks of the attack available as she can... as much as she can get, so... That's my standpoint there. But tree god amulets are great, because... the Especially for Justin and Sue, and then for other, you know, and obviously we we'll use it with other characters as well. Because it's, it's just good to be able to have that ability to use one skill, you know, one more time in a battle, or one extra time in a battle. Because all your skills in general cost less. Always good. God, this, where's this dude's hut? There it is. There's the village chief's shanty. The shack. Yes, we did. Uh, 
it was far as ass that, but it's hard to say. It's just. You don't say. So it looks like we've been thrown into yet again another quest. Against our will, obviously. So we'll have to deal with this, won't we? But you rescued Rem, so I have no choice, that's right. Bless me, biatch. Well, yeah, well, you know. I'm not comfortable. I don't appreciate you extorting our people. Oh, that's what your people are here for, for me to extort. Okay. So let's do it. Oh wait, this leads us out. Now obviously, as you can see, now that we're in Luke Village, we cannot go back and do anything regarding the other towns and such. So it is important that we do this stuff, you know, like now. Here's the God of Light Mountain. Uh, so we'll want to head this way. It should be, an, and we get some gold. Yay! So let's go back, and now we're gonna head all the way over here to the next pool. It should be an opening to the mountain. Now we're gonna meet our first enemy here. It's a stronger variation of bug enemies we've fought before. Nothing, nothing spectacular. As we prepare here. Now really what I'm going to do is instead of using magic, we're going to focus on Justin's attack. Um, we're also going to focus on other things too. So let's throw out Fina's water. So we're going to use Snooze for some of that stuff as well. I, one, I really do question though if Justin can actually kill some of these enemies. I won't, we won't know yet. But um, these are metal bugs. I think they're strong against physical attacks. And apparently strong against water magic. So we'll have to do something different. Let's use digging because I'm trying to we're trying to level up her earth and water and Please we're gonna try and level us. up her fire a little later. Not too worried about Fina though, she gets a lot of MP growth so throughout the game, so it's not like she's gonna have trouble with that. Justin might get a little trouble with that. Just let you defend. Justin can wear it, he can hack it. Be funny. Eh, eh, did a little. Well, there's a kill. Clubbing we will go. We're clubbing we will go. All right, we I hope Mario. We're clubbing we will go. And there's 24. So yeah, this is gonna be a quick level for Justin to get that that mace level up to 10, and he can work on axe right after. Once he's leveled up axe, though. It's going to be a big focus on sword, because we're, you know, Axe will get level 12, Mace will get level 10 pretty quick. Um, sword needs to go up, and we've already gone to a new genre, or not genre, but we've gone to a new set of weapons that offer us, you know, we're now on, on um, clubs and axes now, so uh, however you want to look at that. She should be able to sleep at least three of them plus, so we'll go with Snooze again as our way of leveling up her skill in that that skill, the water yeah. skill. I'll start having to use fire as well at some point, too. So let's see... Sleepy time. And I got three of them. Let's go ahead and have Sue go after the beetle there. And she freaking missed twice. Wow. It's kind of awkward. Um, what do we want to do with Sue? Or with with Fina? We'll use Burn Flame. See what we can do with that. There we go. Oh, flame burn! Mm -mm -mm, toasty. Let's see how that does. And it does nothing to the bugs, so we'll have to remember that melee. Melee's probably our best bet in that regard. Great. I'm pretty sure that ends after battle, but still. Let's go ahead and throw up something. Yeah, 
this. No, that's a waste. Let's just attack. There we go. Took care of the snakes. Oh, great. Well, that's right. She has no magic, so it doesn't matter. And that neither does... Yeah, so... As long as she can hit the damn thing. There we go. There's the wing center. So this should finish the battle here. There we go. All right. Because we need to really start working on Justin's physical. Because we've been ignoring it, working on magic. And I'm sitting there going, "Well, magic is not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty high." So we probably should start working on melee. Okay, but you see what the snakes can do. So th there is some reason to concern yourself. We should get a life seed, I think. Yes, a life seed. Obviously, we use that on people who have low life. Excluding Sue. Alright, so let's keep moving here. And really quick, because Fina's working on that magic water level to kind of even it out a bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and use all heal. There we go, that's where I'd like to see it. Okay, so we've done that. Let's take a look at our little thing to follow stuff around here. Okay, so there's three paths. Obviously the one with the wooden stakes is probably going to take us to the top of the mountain, which we don't really want to do yet. Alright. Kill him. I'm wondering if there is anything valuable over here. New enemy, the Tarantula. I think that's what it is. Very, again, this is just a reminiscent enemy of before. They're, they're nothing, nothing is new with these enemies. They're just here. <laughs> They're pretty much upgrades of old enemies. They can do some, mostly this, they do the same stuff the other ones did. Not much else to really say about that. So just fight them as usual, you know, use the same tactics as before. Let's see if we can get a, see what our fire looks old like. Flame burn em. She should be out there with Justin now. Eh, it only hit one, two. Eh, hey, that's crap. Terrible idea. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll finish you off with the. So they're very, very standard enemies. There's nothing <laughs> Pretty easy. too impressive when it comes to fighting them. So in most cases, I would usually just, you know, you can melee them to death, really. I was just trying to be a little creative and see what I can get out of, you know, doing it in a certain way, but obviously I got nothing out of it. So we continue to head this way, we find us some gold. Money! Money, money, money! So let's see, let's head down and around. You notice the enemies, though, give pretty decent experience compared to with the crap we got earlier. So you may want to hang out around here if you're into the grinding scene. It's a dead end, isn't it? Well, we gotta go back up that way anyway, so... Not too concerned about it. As we get into another fight with some old friends. And we're walking. Holy holy oxen free! Let's go ahead and fight this tarantula. Alright, get us some gold. Locked in. Bug battle. Okay, killed them. Now this is just a big open area with like treasure in it, so... Not too much to really... Not a lot of thought is put into this. We find some gold. I think there's one other item here. Around here somewhere. Or I thought there was. It must be over here. Probably with an enemy. Or not. That's fine by me. This should be a, um, a antidote or something. A move break item. Okay, cool. Now I got two of them. Just in case. Now let's head all the way back to the base of the mountain. Because now we get to start heading up the, you know, the big part of it here. So let's go all, we gotta go all the way back. Luckily, it's not a big, big maze. You just go to the places where the archways aren't. And from here, doo -doo -doo, let's go this way first, because I know we saw the gold over here. Money! And, um, doo -doo. let's head up this way for another round of killing. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep moving. Alright, sorry about that. Had to reboot something and it kind of shook everything up a little bit. Alright, let's take a look at where we are here. See some 
gold, and I know there's something to the right side, so we'll have to go and check that out momentarily. Got us some money! Which is always a good thing, and this is going to keep going up the mountain, isn't it? So let's head back and check this other direction here, because there are, fine, there are goodies and then there are hills. And uh, this should have been the way up we came. So, nothing over there. Actually, this might be the way up the mountain, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Alright, took care of that. What do we got? This should be what I was looking for here. And this is the paralysis charm, which is always a handy tool. If you know an enemy is going to hit you with that status effect, there's no reason not to use it like a jackass. Okay, so... We've collected, I think, most of the treasure. There's some more gold, I think, as we climb up higher. But we'll get to, and there should be like a whip or something. I don't remember. We'll figure. Oops, where am I going? We'll figure that out in a minute. If I look at my phone. I'm expecting a call. But I get a feeling that it's not going to come. And if it doesn't, I don't have to worry about it. And looky here, we find the mother load. Money. This a resurrection potion. We got a lot of those. Yep, I knew there was a whip. Durr. Let's go ahead and equip it. It's better new weapon gear is always good. And magic wise, I said magic wise. Oh, she's got more water than wind right now, so let's go ahead and put that responsibility to Justin. What are their levels? Seven and five. Six and seven. Seven and five and six and seven. Um, so we don't have to worry about fire really so much. Well, we gotta get it to twelve and fifteen at some point, but that's when we're working past that level, so. Justin, though, we've gotta get it to nine, ten, and six. Which is already there, so we need to work on his earth skill, really, is, should be our main focus. And getting fire up one more level. And so, and that's, you know, so we gotta get fire up one level and get earth up two levels. Water is probably fine for the moment where it's at, because we can't do much, too much. I mean, we can get it up two more levels, and then right from there on, it's, you know, a long stretch before we can do much um, outside of that. So... Let's go and grab these goodies, whatever they may be. Another a light amulet, I think. Whatever it is, we'll look at it in a moment. The trust! Trust is really cool. Trust is an item, well, it's cool if you use it. Not everybody uses it. But trust is an item that you can use in battle, and pretty much what it does, plus with all magic resistance, okay. pretty much what it does is it allows you to do something very specific. It lets you pretty much make any other character go turn come up immediately. So that's something to think about. We get kicked out of the village now. Okay, let's take a Nectar of the Gods. We have acquired the Nectar of the Gods. So now that we've done that, we can make our way down the mountain. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So we went through all that, for what? Stupid Nectar? Does it grant us immortality? No. But at least we're done, and we can head back to town and take care of the rest. Do we need a heal? I think we just did recently, so we're good in that respect. And Axe is up one level, so we need to get one more level, and then we're done with Axe, and then we can start working back on Sword again. Because one attack point difference is, is quaffable, but not quaffable. One attack point general difference between one weapon and another is not really the not really valued thing to notice. So anyway, now that we've done all we've done all of that, so we're all set. So we're gonna have to go take this to the elder and all that hubbity bub. So on the next episode of Let's Play Grandia, what's this? Those criminals, those thieves. You'll find out who we're talking about on the next Let's Play Grandia.